New Haven's longest serving mayor capping off his decades in office with a familiar speech. In his State of the City address, Stefano focusing on his accomplishments and his last goals as mayor of the Elm City. News 8's Neka Nuuso is live outside City Hall with more on the future of the city. Neka? And Darren Stefano pointed out that he has 330 days left as mayor. And in that time, he says he wants to focus on four areas, the public budget, public safety, economic growth, and continued work on school change, which he says is most important. A standing ovation for Mayor John Stefano Jr. as he entered city council chambers Monday, delivering his final state of the city address. While emotional at times during his retirement announcement, this speech was all business. It feels actually pretty much like the other 19 state of the cities, uh, not that much different. He began by highlighting accomplishments. Crime rates down over the last 20 years. Homicides dropped by half from 2011 to 2012. In education, reading proficiency is up more than 30 percent, while graduation rates climbed to 70 percent last year. Uh, I think we've done great work here in New Haven. Uh, the mayor has established a fabulous foundation for the city in school change. You know, we know we have a long way to go. To grow the economy, the mayor wants to modify zoning for more mixed residential and commercial spaces, begin demolition of Route 34 in the next few weeks, and start construction of 100 College Street. As for the budget, Stefano says New Haven cannot afford more cuts in state aid. He says union bargaining has been successful and hopes for the same as the city works with police and fire. And speaking of public safety, the mayor says community policing is working, but guns are still a big concern. This is a debate that we all have to have our voices as a community heard on. It is happening now. It is happening 40 miles away. We should respect and support the right to bear arms, but like all rights, it needs to be balanced with responsible rules for their use. This is the year to get that done. As you can imagine, there were many ideas discussed in tonight's State of the City, including one idea that piqued the interest of some inside, transferring ownership of the Schubert Theater away from the city and to a nonprofit agency. Now, if you'd like to read more about the mayor's speech, in fact, read his speech in its entirety, just head to our website, WTNH.com. Live in New Haven tonight, Neka Nuosu, News 8.